yeah so i'm i'm really glad that you spoke about um routine and you know planning is that very essential even when we talk about just sleep yes so with okay so a lot of what i'm doing in my work is i'm taking whatever age the baby is that i'm working with um i'm really teaching the parents to follow the age appropriate awake windows so the example i'll give is a 5 month old baby their awake windows during the day should only be 2 hours what that means is oh, if the baby okay. wakes up at 7 o'clock in the morning that nap number 1 should be at 9 a.m. and so on throughout yeah. the day okay. and there's so much we can't control we don't know how long that baby will nap for you know it might be an hour it might be an hour and a half what we do know and what i can help parents with is that after they wake up from that nap the next nap should be 2 hours later and okay. it's when we blow past those wake windows that we start to uh, get overtired uh the baby will really get overstimulated that's when the baby will be howling at some point you know maybe even at 2 o'clock in the morning but a lot of times i can reduce the howling at 2 o'clock in the morning by fixing the awake windows yeah. during the day now in order to follow these awake windows or honor these awake windows you do have to simplify your life you know you really do have to kind of let your life revolve around the naps in the beginning yeah. and you know it can feel quite limiting a small baby is going to be taking 3 4 5 naps a day yeah. but what i remind people is it's really short term it's really temporary yeah. i'm very happy for parents when they get to that point where the baby's on two naps or it's right. even really liberating when the baby's dropping down to one nap right. and it's it's just that first couple of months and that first year where i feel that you should simplify life a little bit okay. uh for the baby so that you're kind of you know you're doing small outings but you're so, kind of chilling at home